My name is Scorpios and this week I am back with this tutorial video for this city hall in Minecraft. And in terms of scale, this building is a little bit larger than most of the buildings that I showcase here on my channel. However, this building is actually quite easy to put together. And as you can see here, it is a magnificent building to add to your Minecraft world. So make sure to go down to the video description and check out the list of materials that you will need for this build. And if you decide to build this city hall in your Minecraft world, leave a comment down below and let me know how it goes. And without further ado, let's start building. We are going to start with a floor plan of this building. And that is what you are looking at right now. And here I am showing you the size of this floor plan. And as you can see here, this is going to be quite a large build. And for the first floor here, we are going to be using sandstone. So we are going to start with this side here. And we are just going to put down one layer of stairs. And on the next wall here, a bunch of solid blocks. And we're going to use stairs once again for these walls on this side of this building. But on each corner, we're going to put down one solid sandstone block. And after putting down a bunch of more stairs on the back here, we are going to switch switch back to using solid sandstone block on the back here for these walls. And as for the walls on this side of this building, we are going to switch back to using stairs once again. And finally, a bunch of solid sandstone blocks here on this wall. And the next step here is to complete the first floor of this city hall. And for this step here, we're going to build the walls up to three blocks tall. So let's start with these two walls here. And after that, we're just going to build a staircase in between. And after that, let's take out some more solid blocks and seal off the back of this staircase. And for now, we are going to be building a front entrance to this city hall. So here we are going to be building these sandstone columns and the base of each one of these columns is going to be on the same level as the top layer of the staircase. So as you can see here, I'm just going to replace one of these stair blocks with a solid block. And on top of this solid sandstone block, I am going to put down nine additional blocks. So that is going to be 9 blocks in total and we're just going to repeat this process for a total of 5 times leaving a 1 block space in between each one of the columns. And behind these 5 sandstone columns we're going to put down 5 additional sandstone columns of the same height as you can see here. So once again like what you're seeing here each one of these columns is going to be 9 blocks tall and they're going to be 1 block apart from each other. Alright so I hope you are following along in the building process so far because we are going to move on to decorate these columns and this step is actually pretty simple so at the very top of each one of these columns on each side we are just going to put down two upside down sandstone stairs and here you only need to decorate these three sides of these columns and after that we are going to take out our sandstone blocks or in my case sandstone slabs and all we have to do here is to connect up the top layer of these columns and for the next step here we are going to build this structure on top of these columns and for some reason i lost my original recording footage for this part of the tutorial so here i am in a new creative test world showing you the building process here so here using sandstone slabs we are going to bring it out one block like this and let's do the same thing on this side here as well so basically the goal here is to have one layer of sandstone slabs have a block above the existing structure and once again we're just going to fill in the three sides as you are seeing here and after that we are going to take out our sandstone blocks and on this layer here we are going to put down 11 blocks and let's come up at one block and this time we're going to put down seven solid blocks and on the third layer here we are going to have three blocks and we are going to switch back to our sandstone slabs once again and we are just going to create this roof shape like what you're seeing here so as you can see here on this side of this roof we are just going to build along the triangular structure that we had just placed down and of course we're also going to come over to the front side here and extend this structure to this direction by one block as well all right and after that we are just going to come over to this side and pretty much repeat the same structure on this side here as well
And with that out of the way, let's come back to our original build world here. And as you can see here on my original design, I actually used a variation of different types of sandstone blocks, which you can also give it a try in your own world. And as you can see here, we're just going to bring this entire foundation up to three blocks tall. And the materials that we'll be using here is exactly the same as what we used on the first layer here. So sandstone stairs on both wings of this building and solid sandstone blocks on the back. Alright, and after that we're going to start building up, and for this step here we're going to be using a lot of brick blocks, and we're going to start here right behind the sandstone columns, and in between the layer of columns in the back here we're just going to fill in the empty space in between them with brick blocks, or in my case brick walls, and since this is going to be the front entrance of this building, just make sure to leave a bunch of two blocks tall spaces, and you can also later come back and put in a bunch of doors here as well. But for now, let's shift our focus to this wall here. So directly above the sandstone wall on the first level, we're going to start building a brick wall. And the height here is going to be 9 blocks, so it is going to be the same as the sandstone columns. And as you can see here, starting on the second block of this wall, for the very top block here, instead of having a solid brick block, we are going to have an upside down brick stairs instead. And that will add a little bit of decoration to this wall so we're just going to do that for this entire wall here and we're also going to leave four windows that are two blocks by two blocks each and right now I am pausing this video so that you can get a sense of the size of this wall when you're building this in your own world. And by the way, another design choice that you can add to decorate these walls is to add a bunch of sandstone blocks along the edges of these walls like what I'm doing here. So just make sure to space the sandstone blocks one block apart from each other. And that is what I'm doing on this side wall over here. And as you can see here, I am incorporating the same design elements as before. So once again, I'm going to pause the video and show you the dimension of this wall here. Alright, and after that, we are going to move on to this wall here in the back. And once again, as you can see here, same design elements. And all you have to do is to make sure that these four windows here line up with the four windows on the front of the building. So yeah, with that said, I'm going to move on to this wall here in the middle of the back of this building. And I feel like for this wall here, you don't actually need any windows, but it is really up to you. And in my case, I am putting in four windows just for the sake of consistency. And it is for the same reason that all of these windows are going to be two blocks by two blocks. And after that, the rest of these walls should be fairly easy to construct. As you can see here, we are just going to be doing exactly the same thing as what we did on the other side of this building. So yeah, just make sure that everything is nice and symmetrical. And for that reason, you might want to also take some time and just make sure that all of these windows actually line up. But once all the walls are done, we are ready to move on to the next step of the building process. And as you can see here, for this next step here, we are going to take out some type of slabs. So in my case, I am using stone brick slabs, but feel free to use other materials as well. And as you can see here, all I'm doing is to cover up all of the open area here with a layer of half slabs. And just keep in mind that when you get to the middle of this building here, these slabs are going to come down by half a block. And of course, the reason that we're doing this is because later we are going to build this sandstone roof over this area here. So you can also leave the middle portion of this ceiling uncovered and open for now. It is really up to you. And after that, we're just also going to cover up the other half of this building here as well. And as you can see here, our building is starting to take shape and for the rest of this video, we're just going to finish decorating this building step by step. And here for this step, I am going to work on the windows of this building. And for each window on the lower half of these walls, we're going to start by putting down four sandstone blocks like this. And after that, two sandstone stairs along the top of 
this window frame here. And after that, for each window, we're going to have four spruce trapdoors, and we're just going to make sure that they stand up along the walls like this. And as for decorating the windows here on top, it is actually pretty simple. So as you can see here, all that we are doing is putting down two sandstone slabs for each one of these windows, and that is it. And after that, as for this sandstone roof here, all that we are doing is to extend the existing structure all the way to the back of this building. And here we are just going to create a structure that matches the structure that we had built earlier in this video in the front of this building. So as you can see here, we are going to start by coming out of this wall by one block and we're just going to put down one layer of sandstone slabs and on the block behind here right above the existing wall we are going to use a mixture of sandstone blocks and sandstone slabs and we're just going to create this triangle shape like this all right and after that we just have to extend the top portion of this roof by one block towards this direction. All right, and finally, we're just going to finish building this roof here. And here in my design, I am just going to scatter a bunch of sandstone blocks down along the edge of this roof here. And in my case, there's going to be a one block space between each block. And as you can see here, I'm just going to put down a half slab instead to fill in the space. And as for this side here, because we're dealing with an even number, I'm just going to have two consecutive blocks in the middle. But once again, we're going to add slabs in between all of the blocks. And as you can see here on each one of the corners, we are also going to put in a sandstone wall. So that is going to break up the pattern and make this roof look more interesting. And as you can see here, we are just going to repeat the same process on the other side of this roof. So just make sure that everything is nice and symmetrical. And once that is done, our city hall is now complete. So that is all I have for this week's tutorial for a Minecraft city hall. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please, please leave a like and subscribe if you have not done so yet. And this way you will not miss out on my future tutorial videos from this channel. And with that said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.